But if you remember, you were watching yesterday, we had originally what was an Amber Alert out of Round Rock, Texas for two girls. And then uh, police said yesterday, hey, the Amber Alert is canceled, but we are continuing a nationwide search for these two girls and the man that we believe that they are with. Well, late yesterday, it was actually very shortly after I got home last night, uh, the police announced some good news. So I would like to uh, let you listen in on that press conference that they held last night while we wait for the State Department's press briefing. It's coming close. <laughs> 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 so you can imagine that uh, how excited we are the fact that uh, Terry Miles was taken into custody in Colorado and uh, Lily and Lulu were, uh, were found safe. Uh, very excited. Many, many hours uh, went into uh, ensuring that these girls were, were found safe. And like I said earlier, our whole goal was to, to bring these, uh, to these two sisters home. Um, so approximately 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, a Los Animas County Sheriff, which is right, in, right around Trinidad, um, based off a tip or going off a tip that was received, um, that the subjects were in that area, uh, went looking for the vehicle or the subjects, came across those subjects, uh, uh, the vehicle uh, in that area on the roadway, pulled in behind that vehicle, uh, vehicle started driving erratically. Uh, he waited for his backup to arrive, initiated a high-risk traffic stop, um, and Terry Miles uh, was taken into custody without incident. The two girls were located inside the vehicle. Um, they both were unharmed and uh, safe at that time. The girls will be transported to the hospital and checked medically. Um, Terry Miles will be held in custody. I do have two of our detectives who will be flying out to that area in the morning uh, to conduct interviews uh, at that time. Um, and Child Protective Services in Colorado and in Texas will be working on getting the girls home at some point uh, in the near future and getting them uh, um, reacquainted with the, or back to their families. I can't thank uh, these folks that are behind me and everybody who's worked so hard day in and day out on this case to bring these girls home. I want to thank specifically the FBI, the U.S. Marshals, Texas Rangers, Central Texas Violent Crimes Task Force, the Williamson County District Attorney's Office, United States Attorney's Office, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, Child Protective Services, Colorado Law Enforcement, the men and women of Round Rock Police Department who just worked tirelessly on this case, and all the citizens who called in tips to help uh, us come to a resolution on, on these missing uh, uh, sisters. So obviously we have, still have a lot of work to do uh, in regards to this case. We still have a lot of questions to be answered. Uh, hopefully we can have, have those questions answered. So this is still an ongoing active case, so there's a lot I cannot give you. I just felt it uh, necessary. One is to, to talk to you tonight and let you know that we did get uh, Terry Miles in custody and that the girls are safe, which was our whole goal and hope uh, the whole time and prayers the whole time. In fact, um, as you walked around in the, the incident command center room, you know, it wasn't if the girls came home. It has always been when the girls came home. And, and that's, uh, that just goes to tell you that the, the, the passion that everybody had in, in um, returning these girls home safe. So again, a lot of work to go, a lot of, a lot of work to go on, a lot of quest, uh, questions to be answered on our part. So um, with that, I'm going to open up to a few questions um, that you have. Is Miles charged with anything? So right now we're sending detectives out. They'll fly out in the morning, and they will uh, uh, hopefully interview him in the morning. So right now he's not arrested. He's just taken <clears throat> He's in, the, in custody right now. That is correct. What department was it that spotted him? The department that spotted him was Los Animas County Sheriff's Department. Near Trinidad? That is correct. What's the first question that you would want to ask uh, Mr. Miles? Well, you know what, I'll leave that to the detectives to ask those questions right now. Our, our whole goal and hope is to, that we got those girls safe. They're safe. I'm very excited for that tonight, and that's the purpose tonight. We have a lot of questions to ask him, a lot of questions to ask them, and that will be done here in the next couple of days. Chief, the father of the girls said that Miles had an inappropriate relationship with a 14-year-old. Can you comment on that? Is that true at all? I have no idea. Again, they, that, they'll be interviewed. Um, <coughs> 
we we haven't talked to him. We haven't seen him. You know, we're just very very happy the fact that we, he is in custody at this point. Was he forced to go? Was it a kidnapping? Again, you know, same same question, same answer is going to be. We haven't had an opportunity to to question him, um, and our hopes that we'll have a lot of questions answered. These girls have been through a lot. Are you getting a sense of how they're doing? I mean, they're they're good physically. Do you know how they're doing emotionally? So they will, um, and I'll tell you, our child protective services and our victims assistance have been working great. Uh, they're they're great uh, resources for us. They will have the opportunity to spend time with with these girls. Um, we'll have an opportunity, hopefully, to question these girls and and um, determine that at a, at a later point. We're just very happy that they're safe. Uh, unharmed, um, and uh, we'll be able to return them home to their families. Was Miles still in that same vehicle? That is correct, yes, he was. So the question was, was he still in that same vehicle? And the answer is yes. So again, thank you guys, appreciate it. Um, as soon as we can get more information out to you, we'll get it out to you um, as soon as possible. Thank you all for your help in pushing out the information. I, can, I can't tell our, citi our citizens out there thank you enough. I can't tell you thank you enough for helping us uh, um, get these girls home safe and, and get Terry Miles into custody. All right, everybody, you are watching the very end of a press conference last night in Round Rock, Texas, where two missing girls were found with the man they were suspected to be taken by. That man in the same vehicle that he was last seen in Texas in. Again, the girls have been found safe. And the questioning continues. In the meanwhile, I am.